He's a retired orthopedic surgeon, almost 80 years old, obviously trained decades ago in medicine and used the technology of his time, x-rays and later on MRI, and got very proficient at it. Now here's a picture of my dad in the Meta 2 headset looking at a 3D MRI for the first time in his life. Now this is a man who spent his entire career trying to find the story that's rooted in an, in an MRI or an x-ray. And after all, these are just another storytelling technologies that capture the condition of the patient in a given point in time. And as powerful as they are, they're merely flat media that reduce a patient's entire condition into a single image. It takes an expert, a radiologist or a surgeon like my dad, to actually decode that. And it was always a passive experience for him. But with the, but with the Meta headset, for the first time, he actually leaned in and walked around the MRI and naturally grabbed and tried to touch it and naturally easily sliced through it, put his head through it and he was fully engaged. In fact, he was no longer looking at an image, he was actually looking at a patient. He inhabited the exact same space as that patient. And this was truly a transformative experience for my dad. I think it altered his view of his entire career in just an instant. And likewise, this was a transformative moment for me. First of all, I watched my dad become childlike. He was playful, he was almost elbowing me, having fun with the, with the hologram, didn't need instruction, it was all natural. And he was acting like he was seeing an experience for the very first time. And this stopped me dead in my tracks and made me wonder, how could a trained professional for decades have such a visceral reaction in a field he thought he had mastered. And that's when I realized immersive AR gives us the power to share experiences in a very new way. But what happened with my dad isn't unique or unusual. I see this every day in my role at Meta. I see hundreds if not thousands of customers have the exact same childlike reaction that my dad had, no matter what field they're in. This made me realize the immense benefits that AR brings to us, to both the storyteller and the audience. For the storyteller, it's a more efficient way to create or recreate an experience. And for the audience, it's a natural and intuitive way to consume it. More importantly though, it allows us to have true human connection. Where, just like in the real world, we share experiences together, we can, AR now allows us to share an immersive experience and connect with each other at a very different level. And this is why I'm so passionate about delivering this experience to people in all walks of life. Now I'd like to tell you how Meta is helping bring this technology to all of us so we can all start telling our stories. Uh, but I'm standing here feeling like a hypocrite. Here I am telling you the Meta story using Slideware and I think it would be, uh, it'd be more conducive for me to actually give you a demo and drive, uh, dive right into it. Alright, so I'm going to put my uh, Meta 2 headset on. And our wonderful team here can show the feed from my camera in the Meta headset. So the audience can share. Alright, so this is the Meta Viewer beta application. It is the first application in Meta's productivity suite and it allows us to do quite a bit of things here. So, you might be familiar with the workspace shelf. I have several models loaded here and I can interact with them directly with my hands. 
So if I grab a model and load it, thumbs up. We've added quite a few things. Now we have a plate where the model sits, and that plate gives us a lot of information Second. So I get a lot of metadata here about the model, the scale by which the model is, the name, the version, where it's located. We also added, for the sake of productivity, additional tools and these side plates. So here I have a plate that I can configure in which way I want, and I can easily bring back with these magnetic strips. So I have the same setup again. And these, first of all, uh, we are obviously delivering the immersive photorealistic experience you've all seen and loved at Meta. And being able to fully immerse into it. Now if I want to tell a story, for example, I want to see how this product works. And I want to operate on it with these tools. So here's how the drone would be operating. And this now allows me to go from simple visualization to actually adding a narrative on top of a 3D model. And for example, if I wanted to take this in terms of this could be a sales presentation about how a product works, now I want to get into a little deeper into the assembly, the complex assembly, manufacturing, maintenance, use cases of how this product is put together. So again, it allows us to operate on the model and start telling and sharing our stories. Meta, close. Now we've added another interaction medium, which is voice. So we can operate naturally, whether it's hands or voice. So for example, if I uh, want to open that model again, I say Meta Open 4. Meta Open 4. All right. And then with my hands, I can interact. Meta Close. And then for another use case, this is an interior design use case. I may be remodeling my home, or I'm an interior designer wanting to show this to customers. Meta, rotate by 90 degrees. Meta, rotate by 90 degrees. So I can rotate this model, interact with it very naturally. And let's say, um, again, for this type of use case, we want a high fidelity experience where I'm looking at um, the exact details. You can probably read the text on the bookshelf over here. And I may have a couple of different configurations. So if I want to apply a different configuration, now this couch will change color. So let's look at that. So here I have.